A street preacher armed with a speaker, a microphone, and a camera strapped to his chest is now banned from the village, the Pride Parade, and any event related to Pride Month after being arrested yesterday during a commotion here at Church in Wellesley. Now, uh, this neighborhood was not the first stop on the religious group's street tour yesterday, and I'm being told it will not be their last. Tonight, we take a look at the fine line between freedom of speech and disturbing the peace. If you don't like what someone's sharing, if you don't like what someone has to say, our cameras captured verbal clashes that erupted in the village as a leader of the religious group Christ Forgiveness Ministry began amplifying his beliefs. Would you tolerate me as a Christian? Go away. Okay, so you're a bigot. David Lynn, seen here on the microphone, was telling passersby that he's, quote, coming out of the closet as a Christian. All of this was also being live streamed on the group's YouTube channel. So you tolerate me as a Christian? As long as you tolerate me as a gay man. Within 15 minutes, members of Toronto's LGBTQ community clapped back, hoisting signs that read, Love is Love. They've been on guard since last month when another preacher named Dore Love took to the streets here in the village preaching explicitly about homosexuality being sinful. There was no arrest in that case. Last night, police responded about 30 minutes after the group's arrival. A patrol officer spotted the commotion and called for backup. Turn the microphone off. That's not the main have, issue. Well, it is right now because see all these people around okay. here? So you are literally right now. I'm not causing, literally causing, causing anything. No one told them to block the sidewalk. What did I do? Back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm back up. I'm with him, back up. Lynn was then put in handcuffs. The charge, disturbing the peace. We don't have enough evidence currently uh, to charge him with anything that relates to hate speech or hate crime. However, we would like more uh, videos to come in from the community that shows what he was talking about. Yeah, but you're pushing religion into people's faces. The, the village was not the first stop on the group's itinerary. Hours before the arrest, in another video posted to their YouTube channel, Lynn hit the streets in Kensington Market. You are impinging upon the freedom and the ease of the people here. Police were also called to the scene to help keep the peace. If people were out here talking about Santa Claus, you wouldn't have a problem. Outside the courthouse today, here's what Lynn had to say about his arrest. I shouldn't be in this position. I didn't do anything illegal. We're on a part of a Toronto tour where we're going all over Toronto for the next seven days and sharing the gospel to everybody. Now, if you've ever been by the Eaton Center, you've likely seen this group before. They're set up seven days a week right at the corner of Young and Dundas. Uh, now, we don't know what neighborhoods are on their agenda, but Lynn does tell City News that they plan on taking their message to all of Toronto's 25 wards.